The home inspector just kind of said, oh, don't worry about that. It's just previous water damage. What are they, stupid? That's like stupid. Ah, oh, damn, this is why I didn't want to take off stuff. That sucks. This whole floor right up. It's a can of worms. Every time I do something here, it just leads to something else. Holmes, I need you here, bud. I gotta get you to look at this. Shannon thought it'd be a safe bet to buy a 26-year-old townhouse. Not too old, have a good track record. The home inspection appeared to go well, or so she thought, but now she's faced with a lot of problems. I'm gonna make it right. My sister had uh, moved out west with her family and decided that they wanted to come home. She had asked me if I could do her a favor and uh, go look for, at apartments for her because she was so far away. And I just got an idea. I just said, you know what, why don't I just buy a house and we can kind of all live together and it'll help me pay my mortgage, and at the same time, you guys will have a nice place to live. So it was just sort of a win-win situation for everybody. There was just something about this house that I loved. Like, the backyard, I really like it. There's a sliding door that goes from the kitchen to the backyard, and it's right across from a playground, so my nephew could go and play and stuff like that. So there were really a lot of things that I, I liked about this house. My home inspection, I thought, went really well. Everything kind of just looked cosmetic, and I thought, you know what? I can save some money, and I can do some renovations in a couple years. I can kind of live with the ugly kitchen and the ugly carpet, and it wasn't a big deal to me. The home inspector was very nice to me. He was very kind, but I don't know that he actually checked everything as thoroughly as he should have. Hi. Janet. Mike, nice Mike. to meet you. Nice to meet so you. Much for coming. It's cold out. I don't like yeah, it. Come on. I understand there's a few problems. There's quite a few problems, yeah. Well, it's a cozy little place. Yeah. There's I'm a hole in the ceiling. ceiling. Yeah, there's a big hole in the ceiling. <laughs> Looks like you've got some leaky plumbing. I had only been in the house for a week. I was standing in the kitchen, and I could hear drip, 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 and I'm like, where is that coming from? So I kind of looked around, and then I looked up, and sure enough, the water's leaking, and then it kind of starts leaking quicker and faster, and I just kind of stood there. The first thing I thought was, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to rip that whole bathroom apart. You could tell it had been patched already, so the home inspector just kind of said, oh, don't worry about that, it's just previous water damage, and he said it's no big deal, because the upstairs bathroom had been renovated. I read that in the report. Yeah. It seemed to be an old problem, yeah, not a new yeah. problem. You got a plumber in here, didn't you? Yes, I did. And he was a plumber? Yes, well, he said he was. He said he was. He cut into the ceiling, and he had a look at it, and he looked for a leak, and he said, I don't know where this leak is coming from. Let's go upstairs. All right. I just felt really, like, defeated, because here's this guy saying he doesn't know where the leak is coming from, and he refuses to fix it. So that was even more frustrating for me. This is uh, a back split, eh? Yep. Lots and lots of levels. <laughs> Very nice. Up to you. Well, it's looking good. You didn't put this in, right? No, no. This was um, a renovation that was done by the previous owner, but I don't know if necessarily they did a very good job. There's three main areas where a bathtub can leak. The drain, mm -hmm. the overflow, Okay. the shower head, but not just the shower head, but oh. the shower head up here, there's Teflon tape in behind it, so it's one, mm -hmm. two, three as one. Okay. And the other two would be the cleanup. I drain. always thought it was the overflow. So I have the right tools. I'm actually going to run a snake camera downstairs up through the hole. I want to see him behind the tub, never mind looking at the leaks. Really, the last thing I want to do is pull that tub. There is our dryer duct right there, which runs back up out through the garage. Um, buggers. So this is the old dryer yeah. line, right? So the guy thought it was so easy. So someone said, let's run a plumbing <laughs> pipe out there. Now all of a sudden, I've got this house, and I just don't have the resources to fix all these problems. So I will take you into the master bedroom where we just discovered um, some mold. It's the first area, a window or a door from outside, because that's going to be the penetration points for rain, for okay. snow, for weather. So we do have a little bit of surface mold here. That's definitely something that the inspector 
could have looked at or should have looked at. Was the baseboards there? No, they were not. So there was no reason why he couldn't have really noticed that. If you look, it's there. And if an inspector is looking for that, they will find that, absolutely. All right, so here's the infamous basement. Infamous basement, I like that. There's a window behind this wall that has been drywalled I over. I read that in the report. Yeah. Did you ask any questions? Well, Did he look actually, further? the home inspector was the one who noticed it first. We were down here, and uh, we were just looking around, and he said, well, that's weird. There's no window down here. And I said, yeah, that's kind of weird. And he's like, hmm. Then we looked up and saw this vent. There's nothing coming out of it. Oh, that's cold. Yeah. The home inspector did kind of wonder why there was a vent where there shouldn't have been that wasn't um, connected to the ductwork in the house. Um, but he was just kind of like, well, maybe you should ask the homeowner. So we have the furnace room. Yeah. OK, so we have steel framing. As soon as I see the electrical, yeah. you got issues with electrical. Like, that's absolutely no. There's Key. no grommet there whatsoever. If we're using any type of steel studding, in this case, it's a steel floor joist, yeah. there's holes drilled for electrical. Mm -hmm. A grommet is the plastic protector that slips in that hole to stop the wire from actually scraping against the steel. OK. If that wire wears through and touches the metal joist, this whole ceiling can become electrified. Now, if the ductwork's touching that, the plumbing's touching that, you touch it, you're going to get a shock. These are things I'm going to point out right away and say, that's an issue. Okay. You need a licensed electrical contractor in here to address this. The home inspector should have caught this, but I did not read about this in the report. So, okay, okay. Oh. this is what's going on with the window. So what do we have here? Gas. Yeah. We're not allowed to have an opening window or an exhaust within three feet of this meter. All right, they closed the zone. There's, a, I see a little bit of some type of foam insulation, but the window's open, mm -hmm. right? And it's just allowing all that. That's why that wall was so cold. So as far as the window, there's no way that I'll get to open that up then? Uh, uh nope. The gas. No, I'm not even allowed to because of that gas. OK, that is really something I definitely would have liked to know before I moved in. Yeah. It kind of ruined that whole um, investment and purchasing your first home, like it kind of ruined the whole, you know, excitement of it. Because now all of a sudden I've got this house and I just don't have the resources to fix all these problems. This is enough for now. I'm gonna grab some tools. I'm gonna do a complete scan of your house. Lots of stairs. I take care of our tools. This is a very expensive tool. This is the camera that actually gives me a thermographic reading. I'm going to have to find out why that's so cold there for an adjoining wall. My guess is that somewhere in the attic, insulation is missing, and a cold, cold draft is going down that wall, which it shouldn't be doing. Look at the insulation. I mean. We see insulation in the wall here. There is no vapor barrier. You see the dirt on the insulation? That dirt shows that we have a lot of air movement in this attic. Wood's fairly dry. Here we have the stack from the furnace. And look at this. That would explain the cold zones that I have down here. No wonder it's, it's warm up here. I have no cold breath at all. What is it, minus 15 degrees Celsius outside? That's how much heat loss is up here. So let's talk about our value. R value is a measure of thermal resistance. The higher the R value, the better the insulation. Building code requires an R value of 40 in an attic. I'd love to see 50 or more, but you know, that's, that's me. This insulation here, this is an R12 insulation, this yellow stuff right here. We have an R8 giving us the equivalent to an R20. It's scattered, so we're not even close to an R20. And that's not good enough. The thermographic of the exterior of this house shows all the areas where there is heat loss. As far as I'm concerned, that sucks. I'm going in to fix it. Talk about money going out the window. In this case, money's going out the ceiling, out the roof. All right. I can already feel the cool difference just stepping down into the basement. Now, this is where the window is. And right, right there. You see that cold spot right there? That's going to be where the duct line is in that window area. Right at that point, 9.6 degrees Celsius. As I scan around the, where the window is, we have a temperature change of 3 degrees in the area. And that's understandable, because if you remember, the window on the outside was opened, and the ductwork went out at this point, and there was spray foam that was filled that wasn't 100% perfectly filled there. 
And that's why this area is catching such a much lower temperature to this point. And that's, you know, for three degrees at the two points, that's a lot of temperature. Celsius, three degrees. Just wanted to, I looked at this earlier, and I see a crawl space. There is our dryer duct right there, which comes through with a plastic flex hose, which runs back up out through the garage. Dumb buggers. And then along the front. Like, why do it this way? I'm gonna have to look further into the garage at that point. Now, the home inspector did let Shannon know the dryer duct line should not be running in the garage and going out to the outside wall at this point. The reason for that is because of the car. We're going to actually pull back the fumes inside. So it is up to the homeowner to listen to that advice and act on dangerous things. This is dangerous. Electrical is dangerous. Fumes are dangerous. When it comes down to your health, you know, this should have been addressed. All right. That's the wonderful window. Hey, there you are, Mike. Damon. How you doing? I'm doing good, you? Good. You always call me on these cold days? Well, it's not so bad now. It's actually <laughs> even colder this morning. It's minus 27 this morning, oh, you're but you were at the other one. I was inside. What's wrong here? What is going on with that window? <laughs> the inspector that inspected this house actually said, there's a window closed up in the house. You so know? he caught it? But what he didn't catch. The gas meter right beside it. Yeah, it's supposed to be three feet away from the window, right? Yeah. Any intake to the house. And it's got to be a fixed window. It and can't you call that closed out? Is that closed off? I can't even tell what that is, but I <laughs> see it from the inside. I don't know what's going on there. I want to measure the steel frame. We're going to give them an exact measurement. Yeah. Make sure you tell them eighth of an inch all the way around, OK? OK. We're going to do a fixed window. OK. I also see we have a, uh, is that a pipe coming out of the well, old? Well, that uh, drives me insane. Which... <laughs> <laughs> OK. So what was here? What do we see? I see an old vent. Yes, yeah, so this is the old dryer yeah. line, right? So the guy thought it was so easy. So someone said, let's run a plumbing <laughs> pipe out there. We'll run a plumbing pipe out yeah. there, and not the, one of the new ones that are yeah. really good. And let's run some <laughs> concrete around that rather than... <laughs> Done. So what's this line then? What, what vent is this? Okie dokie. Uh, let's start with... Insulation in the attic. Let's start from the top down. Yeah. Um, I want you to bring in Alex. We'll just add the blown in. I'm happy with that. Okay. We want to make sure we have proper ventilation from the soffit up. In the corner from the, the furnace that goes up is the exhaust line that goes through the attic. It's completely open and all the cold air is driving down because cold air pushes low. Yeah. Fire rated insulation around that duct line. We have all kinds of grommets that are dried out and, and not good with the metal rafters here, and the wires are being pinched tight against it. Okay. We also have aluminum and copper in the panel. I want a two thumbs up from Frank on the electrical. Okay. The window is right here, okay? There's what the window is. Feel how cold that is, eh? Just feel that. Well, there's nothing but the window back there, isn't that it? That is real cold. Yeah. Okay, that one spot is real cold. And now, I think the fan is there. Uh, have them confirm we have enough airflow out of this register. So okay. have them do balance the house. All okay? right. So bring Martin in, mm -hmm. fix the plumbing on the tub, make sure that through the hole in the kitchen we get enough insulation on the back wall and then behind the tub as much as possible, repair the hole. All right. First bedroom up the stairs, she calls it the master bedroom. Underneath the window, take a look, even if you gotta use your snake camera to see one, if we have mold, two, if we have moisture in that area. If okay. we do, open it up, okay? All right. But let's surprise her by fixing up the house and painting it. Whole thing? Yeah. Ooh, okay. So insulation in the attic, let's paint the house, let's fix the plumbing, let's fix the electrical, let's fix the HVAC. Excellent, I will press the button when I need you, okay? I'm done. Okay, man. Your job. It's just starting. See you later. Okay, man. Now we're not sure if it's the overflow, whether it's the spout, whether it's the tap, something's leaking back here. Where's the window? <laughs> wire is so tight to that metal. Look, it's already actually pierced the line. And I just thought, uh, what have I got myself into? What have I done here? Uh, let's go inside. Uh, we're going to start a little bit of demo today. It's three stories. I need you guys to uh, protect every floor, every cupboard, every piece of carpet, OK? Ooh. Nice. Take it right back. Oh, yeah, perfect. We have our trap. You get some hot balls. Look at this. It's not panic. 
Here we are. Hey. How nice. are you? Good, man. Yourself? Good, good. Thank you very much for coming by. No problem. Hey, Adam, how are you? It's a tub. And it's a leak. It could be the spout. It could be coming in from in behind the wall, which be I got to show you that bathroom. You're okay. going to see why this is going to be a real pain in the ass. How accessible is that upstairs? I'll show you. It's not. <laughs> OK, so the other problem is here is they cut structure. You see that? I noticed that, yeah. I have to fix that, OK? So we're going to have to deal with that, too. And I got to bring you upstairs and just show you what we're dealing with. And you're okay. going to have a lot of fun with this. All right. <laughs> So I'm thinking it could be leaking from here, it could be leaking from here, it could be leaking from the overflow. So we'll deal with that. And also, beautiful. Feel that? You get some sound. You get some sound effects too. You get some sound effects. What I like to do is, uh, you know, um, fill it up all yep. to the top. I want to recreate the scenario yep. of, of the flooding or, or the leak. Have one of my guys downstairs to look at where the water is coming from. Yeah. Feel it, touch it, you know, uh, poke with the flashlight and, uh, and you know, just literally try to get to the bottom of it as efficiently as I can without doing any damage. Thank so. you. Okay, the point is, I don't want to touch this whole bathroom. Okay. I really don't want to if I don't have to. We did find traces of mold in the master bedroom, so I have Carlito opening up underneath the window so we can inspect it a little further. Damon! Oh, you don't have to yell, man. I'm right here. Sorry. Let's go. Cool. Ready, ready to open it up. Okay. Bottom. Ready? Nice. Okay. I think it's coming in through the window and it's just traveling down the plate, and that's why we have mold down there. I bet you anything that this slopes down, and that's why you're getting more mold there than anywhere down here. Okay. Take the casing off, open it right up to the window, okay? Come a little further, though, because I want to see what's happening here at the cold zone, okay? All right. I brought in the troops. Guess what we're doing? Uh, demo in the basement. I want to take down this ceiling. I want to take down this wall, OK? This whole back wall. Well, what do you think right off the bat? <laughs> Look at this furnace. It probably was a humidifier there one time. Yeah? It's just leaking? Yeah. I'd like you to take a good look at it. Tell me if it needs to be updated, whether it needs to be clean, the filters. I think we're also going to do a duct clean duck through clean the whole here. place, yeah. <laughs> we're looking to reroute, obviously, probably out through the back somehow. And we'll disconnect for now and take a look. So can I just show you the garage real quick? And yeah, you'll have a good laugh at that. That's our dryer pipe. Genius. Like, who the hell would do that? You're probably getting some leakages. You notice where it's coming through the wall? Yeah. There's nothing sealing it. Right. So that's open right into the inside. OK, so a really good reason to actually rerun this uh, as, as quick a route as possible, right? Get it out of the garage, get it out of the danger zone, bring it back into the house and out through yeah. the back, probably, right? Carlito, what did you find? Oh, I can tell right away. Oh. You have a leak here. I also have a leak right here. Lots of mold loose in this corner here. Yeah. Nice black fungus. Big pods. That and is down. Um, it looks like it was following down the uh, two by four stud. Leak into here. Well, there's nothing we can't clean up ourselves. There's no need to call in the remediation people for a little bit of mold like this. We'll just do a, a wipe down with it with some soap and water and maybe a spray. Let's get this bagged and out of here. Uh, don't open it up on the way out. Right in the bin, okay? Okay. Hey, I heard you might have found what the problem is. Yes. Uh, well, I've spent a little bit of time here. Obviously, yeah. I poked a little bit of holes. So I found a, oh, a newspaper going back to uh, 2007. So we can find some interesting stuff here. We have a newspaper, what, three years ago? Yeah. Uh, and it's nice. uh, this whole area is soaked. Uh, yeah. Now, I what I've done is process of elimination, right? Uh, it's not coming from the overflow. It's not coming from the drain. Yeah. It is coming from the tub. The tub itself? The, the tub itself. It's coming from the far corner. Um, I've been getting a lot of water accumulation on the subfloor, and, and, and water has been spreading all over this place. That makes no sense, man. There's no crack in that tub. There is. You saw it upstairs? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go upstairs. I'll show it to you. OK. Uh, that's not good news. Damn. I see. All right. <sighs> good find. Option one is uh, uh, seal it. Yeah. Um, and then do the tests again, find out uh, and make sure that this is the only problem. Or option two is to pull the tub 
and install the new one and start from scratch. My option is to pull this damn tub, just eliminate the problem altogether, all. give them a regular shower, take out this whole unit, yeah. give them a tub, shower, get it back to, to normal here. I, I hate these things anyway. In my opinion, yeah, I like that better. Yeah. Because that's like, loose anyway. I don't like that. And if you take a look at this, this is what they use to hold this. Okay, well, this is what I was talking about. So there are other issues here there besides this issues. hole. Yeah, there are, we would have to deal with those sort of separately. Yeah. But if you're going to pull the top, then this whole assembly will come out and then we can address everything all at once. You know what happens when I pull this tub, right? I got to lose this tile. I start losing this tile. I got to lose all this tile because yeah, I doubt I'm going to match this gonna, unless I have a, like a, a time machine. Um, I'm pulling the damn tub, man. Okay. I'm just shocked. Like, I, I don't think that I would be able to ever get this fixed properly, ever. Why is the exhaust fan in the window and it's closed up? Yeah. We need to make sure we wrap these pipes right along. No copper touches steel, OK? Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. it's absolutely necessary to take this down, I And think. again, someone's done some electrical, no grommets whatsoever. Yeah. What are they, stupid? That's, like, stupid. Yeah. That's just, like, this is steel. Steel. The Sharp edges. Fire. Yeah. Did you grow? <laughs> no. You're getting taller every day. I, I'm, Am I I'm getting shorter? I'm getting older. I'm shrinking. I'm, shrinking. I'm looking up at you, man. <laughs> Let's start with your bathroom. OK. So we did all kinds of testing from downstairs. Yeah. Plumbers came in, and how long were they uh, working They were on this? here three quarters of a day today trying to find out where the leak was. It was uh, it was a hard one to find. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought it was splashing back, coming across the edge and dripping down, because what we saw was the water here and not coming out of the drain. Okay. Where it is coming out of is a nice little hole in the See? bottom of your tub. See that hole? Oh. So here I am thinking it's this huge, big catastrophe and it's a hole. Let me tell you what I need to do to fix it. I'm gonna cut the tub in half. Okay. And take the tub out. Okay. Because I need to get in there and secure all, all those taps. Now I'll replace all the drains due to the monkeys that have been playing with it and give you a new tub. Let's go into this room. Okay. We did find a little bit of mold on the right-hand corner, oddly enough, on that side, and not so much on this side. Okay. Well, there's nothing we can't clean up ourselves. We'll just do a, a wipe down with it with some soap and water and maybe a spray. We'll fix it up. Okay. We may take out the, the rest of the drywall on this walls, and rather than just tie back in and actually fix this whole room at this side. Okay. Yeah. Let's actually go downstairs to the basement. OK. Now, this is not a catastrophe. Well, it looks a lot different. It does look good. <laughs> the say. ceilings are completely open. I never expected that. And you're missing something on that wall? Um, a wall. Yeah, that's right. I can't believe you were sleeping down here, because as soon as we took that drywall off, a piece of drywall by that window, it was so cold down here, it was crazy. Oh, yeah. I can't even believe you didn't have here. pipes freezing down here. We do have metal studs that have wires running through them. OK. OK, and these wires, remember we talked about that in that room? Yeah, the grommets, and there was no, no grommets. Very good, very good. <laughs> and that's bad. Well, there again, no grommets. So okay. somebody's messed with the electrical, didn't worry about grommets. And, and it's a good thing we took it down, because of all the duct work, we do know that the ducts were run, but poorly done. And they cut an end uh, register right in the end there. And they're trying to blow the You don't cut into the main trunk. This, I'm shocked. Like, all the, the heating problems and the cold and everything like that. Like, I didn't even realize. I thought it was normal. We are going to take your dryer line and now put it back to where it was. OK. Which is right there. I, I did notice that from the backyard. The home inspector didn't really say too much about it. Like, it had been cemented. And I guess it was fine, right? It's not fine. Well. We're going to actually tap out. So this is going to mean it's all new drywall down here, new studded wall, insulated back wall, okay. electrical fix, new plumbing line. You know, I'm really glad that they're here. I'm really happy they're here and that they're going to help me out um, because I guess I need it more than anything right now. Um, and I feel really blessed to have them here. Absolutely. Because this looks very overwhelming to me right now. I had no idea it was as bad as it was. Thank you so much. Give me a week or two. A week or two. <laughs> Is that OK? Thank you. You're in yeah. great hands. Okay. We awesome. have a lot of people on this, but. It's going to be a week it's or two. It's a lot more than Maybe I, I can convince expected. you to go to Cuba or something. <laughs> I'm sitting 
here looking at the toilet. So when the toilet came out, I'm looking at my subfloor. My subfloor is completely rotted out. So it's been leaking for a considerable amount of time. The tub's been leaking, so I now have rotting floorboard. I take this out. How do I do that without removing tile? So I'm now removing tile here. Do I stop there? No, I can't do that. I gotta start taking them off here, which means I have to pull the sink at this point. Everything else we've touched here turns to crap in my hands, right? Every time I open something up, we have to fix it. We have to keep going. One, two, three. Something as simple as pulling the toilet. Now I gotta pull the floor. Look at the floor. Look at the subfloor right there. It's completely Horrible. rotted. I mean, the more I pull down here, it just keeps getting bigger. And I've got two weeks left on this job. Let's gut this bathroom today so we can actually freaking fly on it. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, damn, this is why I didn't want to take off stuff. You're right already. Unbelievable. Let's see if this is live. Ah, oh, of course it is. It's it's a can of worms. Every time I do something here, it just leads to something else. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, loose two by fours. Can you imagine framing like this? With tiles on it. Look at this. Holy f Look at this. Can we cut it up there? What are you thinking, buddy? You know what I'm thinking? I need five minute break. Okay. Let's uh, clean this up, take five. Let's get my head back in uh, gear here. I'm gonna get, make a call. Well, I'm a little frustrated. Holmes. I need you here, bud. I gotta get you to look at this. It started with a water leak. You know, that's an easy fix, you think. You go behind a wall, you have to repair the copper. It leads me to pulling the tub, leads me to pulling the tile, leads me to pulling the floor. It leads me to a bathroom gut. It was supposed to be a copper fix, hopefully. It's now a bathroom gut. All right, see you soon. You can repair that, right? Of course. How do I frame over this? Look at this right here. Look at that. It was just a leak. It was just a leak. Everything else we've touched here turns to crap in my hands, right? Now uh, you have uh, demoed it. Yeah, I demoed it. Okay, so it's gonna be a little tricky. I was thinking about this. Uh, we have a lot of stuff in our way, right? So I yep. wanted half inch off the wall for spray foam, I want it to be tucked in behind, right? So when they spray foam this, you have enough of a gap that we get a full thermal break on this wall. So Frank, just the, the three main things that I just need you to check out is an overall of the whole house. Obviously the panel, because uh, of the fuse box, and we want to see if it's overloaded. And obviously the grommet issue down here, because 50% of these are missing grommets. Yeah, you can see here, on this side here, there is a grommet, which is good to see. Yeah. Another one on the other side. We're missing one here. Yeah. It's actually come out. So uh, it is there, but as you can see, just wear and tear, old age. And they are brittle, so we yeah. might as well replace all of them at this point. That's down what here. I would do. You see that piece that's already starting to fray away because yeah. the, of these sharp edges. This wire will rub against these holes and wear through the nylon and then into the actual cable. Once you're into the cable, well, you've got these beams that will liven up. Now, I did notice some aluminum wiring as well. Yes. And we have a fuse panel that I'd like you to take a look at. And I just want your recommendation on whether you want to change it, what we okay. have to do here to make this place safe. OK, so basically what I just removed is a 20 amp fuse, and that just turned off a bedroom circuit. All these blocks here should all be 15 amp. If you've got 20s or 25s or 30s, what that's saying is you most likely have an overloaded circuit, it kept tripping, and what you do is you bought a bigger fuse. The wrong thing to do is buy the bigger fuse. A bigger fuse will overload the circuit, which can cause an electrical fire. We have overloaded circuits in this home, so it, it'll make more sense just to put in a brand new panel at this point. God. Yeah, it's all soft and molded. You think the wet. toilet's leaking? No, I think it was just trickling in, I following don't. the wood. You think so? It's soaking know. wet. Just, uh, 
You know what? Lose the bulkhead. Wow. Sick mold. Hey, like, look at that mold. Look at that mold. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of staining. So you can see that toilet's been leaking for a long time. I'm not gonna actually touch that. Carl, can you put that in the bag for me, please? Such a wimp wearing gloves for this. Look at this right here. Look at that. That is crazy, man. So, you know what I want? This whole floor right up. I hate scabbing on other pieces. Just take the whole floor up. Nice. Beautiful. We're replacing the joist that's been cut out. Structure's been cut out here and here. And this is just floating. You can see this. Well, we have a tub sitting on it. We also have a toilet sitting on it. This is a major piece of structure that should never have been cut out, so we're gonna bring it back to what it's supposed to be. I'm gonna laminate another two by eight on this side and another two by eight on this side, and I'll tie it back into this piece, and there'll be so much structure holding all this weight that I can walk away happy and put my floor down. I got some plywood. Sometimes I forget about the basement. The bathroom has now become the main focus. So now, you know, my attention has been upstairs all day. I almost forgot about the basement. So when the spray foam guys came in, I was like, oh yeah. Alex's guys upstairs actually doing blown in insulation. They're giving me about 14 to 15 inches uh, and just bring it up to an R50 up there, which is gonna be more than fine. They gave me baffles so that it can all breathe in there. Uh, they don't wanna cover the soffits, so they've actually given me room for the soffits so that everything can breathe, let everything circulate and actually go out our vents. We put a secondary lint trap on this system. Uh, every dryer comes with a lint trap. What it does is, the customer or the homeowner will never have to clean this pipe um, past the dryer or going to the outside. Um, everything will get trapped in here. The only thing they'd have to do is clean from here down. And that side of the wall is going to be a finished ceiling. You'll never get to it. You'll never clean that pipe. Um, so that's the reason for this secondary lint trap here. I put safe and sound bad insulation. So we're just trying to stop the sound from all the plumbing or muffle it and, you know, try and bring that sound down a bit. And uh, I'm just drywalling and trying to finish it up. So I need this finished as soon as possible so Carl can get a coat of mud on this. And then, you know what you're doing, my friend? Muddy? No, you're gonna scrape this whole ceiling. Okay, I know this is gonna be a real pain in the butt today and it's gonna be time consuming. So the faster you get this done, the faster you can start this, which I'm sure you're just gonna race at it. Oh. However long it takes you, that's how long we're here today. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna suck. And the trick to mudding is you're throwing it on to cover it. You can put it on thick, but what you have to do is you have to put it on, you have to scrape it on really tight. The tighter the better because you're not putting on compound to sand it off. That means you're wasting money if you're sanding it off and you're wasting time, right? Plus you're getting everything dusty, it means more cleanup. So the tighter, the thinner, the faster it dries, the less you have to sand. Stan's actually uh, tiling the bathroom, which, you know, pleases the hell out of me. Uh, it means we're finishing the bathroom. That's the one I was most stressed about. When I was pulling my hair out, I told Mike, he told me to calm down. Uh, <laughs> I calmed down a little bit. The homeowner has really a nice countertop, just the color doesn't work with what we're kind of doing here. 
So what we've done is we've cleaned it with an abrasive cleaner. We've sanded it. We're going to prime it with a shellac or alcohol-based primer, which sticks really well. It gets lots of bite. That's the most important part of painting countertops, ceramic tiles, is your primer. Um, so you want the adhesion, then we're going to top coat it in oil-based melamine paint. We're just giving it a new lease on life, and the homeowner's not even going to know it's not a new countertop. Towel bar's up. Is that four feet? Uh, just a little more. That's like six feet. That's not six feet. <laughs> She's going to be jumping for that. She could do pull-ups on that, maybe. Whatever. You know what I that's want? I do bad. want that a little lower, my friend. I'm sorry. Are you serious? Yep. That's why I said four feet. Four foot seven. This is why I say these things. You, however, originally you said right here, and that's what I went with. I don't really like it. I'd like it a little lower. Shannon's here in two hours. Mike's here in an hour. We're done in half an hour. Bennett. Hey, Mike. How you doing, last man? Last minute things. Last minute things. Looking Just catching good. up. Yeah, is that the right time? If I like a level up. No, you? of course not. Oh, it looks good. Happy? Yes. It looks brand new. All right, let me see the bathroom. All right, let's see. Look. Looks good. Whoa. Later. Yeah, Whoa, this look is at this. Shannon's new bathroom. You know, it was closed off with that three piece, and now that you've yeah. taken out the bulkhead, it's actually made it bigger in here. Okay. I think she's gonna like it. I'd like to see the basement before Absolutely. we go. Absolutely, let's go. Thank you. So we do have a new window. We have a new window because I had to for the condo board. Aesthetics on the outside. I agree, let's not yeah. close off anything and that's that's their call. Yeah. So we, we did a film on the window. Yes, we did. We did a textured glass on it. Okay. Uh, I spray painted it black just in case there was any way you could see inside it. So it just looks like a normal window with a dark room inside it. Let's bring her in and take let's a look. Let's look You did a good job. Thank you, the team did. Thank, Thank you. you. How you doing? Good, I'm good, how are you? Hi Shannon. Hi Damon. Welcome back to your house. Thank you, thank yeah. you very much. She's been working really hard. Yeah, I bet you have. Everybody has. Yeah. They uh, stayed until I think 10.30 last night and the past few nights quite late. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's it's not brand new, but it's clean, right? It, it smells just, clean. It smells clean. I can, yeah. Well, amazing when you paint a place. Oh, I know why. Eh? Now we didn't okay. paint the whole place. Okay. We might have, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Anything you guys did is awesome, so. Let's start down. Okay. Oh, wow, the color is awesome. All new paint makes yeah. uh, such a new... No, it feels so warm difference. down here. I don't know if it feels warm because it actually is warm or if it feels warm because of the paint color. It's know? actually warm down here. Yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. Well, talk about warm for a second. Damon had to rip down the whole wall. When I took the wall down, basically we had strapping on concrete. Okay. You had no insulation in your walls, and that would actually allow a lot of cold air to come in, as well as the window leaking. A little bit of insulation here and there. They stuffed newspapers as insulation, and it was leaking through the fan. And we never did figure out what it was for in the first place. Brought in Alex. Now, not only did he insulate upstairs, yeah, he, we'd use wall tight eco. So he sprayed the wall. Mm -hmm. So now that makes hey. it nice and warm. I'm just so excited right now. Like, I'm just as happy and as excited as I was as I was walking through the front door. Like, I think it's just gonna last for a really long time. The bros also actually had to fix all the gas pipes down here, because there was elbows that were no longer allowed as a gas line. And okay. if we're gonna close this back up again, we need to address that. So okay. they did do that. Okay. Solved all the issues with the uh, natural gas. Okay. The HVAC down here. Now the electrical. Frank coming in being very upset, just like I was, oh. so that we had issues with possibly energizing all the steel structure mm -hmm. in here, which leads to touching ductwork, yeah. which leads to touching copper, because okay. all of them were touching. Frank and his guys have replaced every single grommet in the basement ceiling, and then they re-ran the wiring so there's no way these steel joists can become electrified. He had a brand new panel. I see that. <laughs> that now is that so was awesome. important. 
That was important. Frank is really good at what he does. And he made sure that everything was safe to aluminum. So when we have aluminum wire, which is okay. safe, okay. we want the proper breakers. Okay. We want the proper AL switches and receptacles. So all through your house is all brand new switches and receptacles. So don't let anyone change them because okay. they are AL. And AL. that means aluminum. Okay. We no longer have that duct work running from the dryer right out <laughs> there, just working oh, its way the through little, the, the crawl yeah, space, the which I found, yeah, the mains, and that's yeah. all been removed. The bros actually give you a lint trap holder. Okay. So right above your dryer, there's okay. gonna be a little box, you can clean that out so it doesn't actually, you know when you get all the fluff yep. coming out of your mm -hmm. vent? Mm -hmm. That won't happen anymore, okay? It makes sure that we don't fill the line that exhausts yeah. house. Exactly. Okay. You know a fire can start from that, right? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, so, so when you took out the old dryer line, was it really bad? Like, oh, was it was really bad. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of things that were really bad, but yeah. that was just one. Did you find any socks by any chance? Cause like I seem to- That's <laughs> these were yours? <laughs> the guys did so much work like behind the walls with duct work and electrical and plumbing and just the whole nine yards. And the fact that it looks amazing you know, cosmetically at the same time, is it's a really, really nice thing. You painted the cupboards. Yeah. <laughs> They're not <laughs> like that nasty green anymore. Uh, what the cup? Oh, you mean the countertop? Oh, well, oh, oh the countertop. You did you paint that? Yes. How do you do that? Craig is, uh, he's a special guy, man. He came in, he painted your whole house. Damon gave you new handles on the, all the yeah. doors, new hinges. I feel like I'm actually in this top. decade now. I'm not in the 80s <laughs> That's what anymore, I said. It's really cool. I brought you back into this century. Yeah. It's new. There's no hole in the ceiling anymore. That's oh, there's awesome. There's no hole. Everything was so different throughout the house. And now everything kind of just flows like it should. And it looks nice. And there's not like pieces missing here and there. Like everything's complete. Oh, this is great. You knew you were getting a new tub. Yeah. You knew we were going to pull it out. David pulled out the bulkhead, but then he knows he had to gut this wall. Okay. And he started pulling the toilets and realized after yeah, the floor it came up. Yeah, it's a toilet. That toilet was about to pop right through the floor. That floor wow. was completely rotted out. We had to bring oh it right back. Oh my gosh. So you got new tile. Kind of looks that pretty looks slick. That looks amazing, yeah. Does it look bigger in here? Yes, it does. It That's looks a lot bigger. because the bulkhead's gone, right? Yeah. You got a brand cleaner. new sink, brand new taps, brand new cabinet. Very nice. Mirror, lights. I love the tile. I love the color. I love everything about it. It's a nice bathtub, too. You only have one hole in that bathtub. It's your dream. And that's the one that's, that's supposed right. to that's be right. there. That's yes, right. that's right. It's the right one. There's so much weight that's been lifted off my shoulders. Just like walking through this house now, it feels like it's my home. And I actually feel like I don't really, like I, I don't have to worry anymore. Oh, so you have, so a, you have a bedroom that I'll move into. So we end up actually pulling down this whole wall because we okay, did have issues wall. with insulation. We did have okay. some minor water issues from the window coming mm -hmm. in, which were addressed. This is definitely the best house, the safest, the warmest, the best house in the neighborhood. The house only looks cleaner, smells cleaner. It really does. Yeah. It's about the functions of everything mm -hmm. we fixed. The electrical, the plumbing, the gas, the HVAC. That's the really important stuff. Like mm -hmm. the really, I, I'm learning from this whole experience that the most important things in your home are actually behind the walls. It's and not what you see, it's, it's what you don't see. It's what you don't see, absolutely. These guys really care about people and they care about people's safety and well-being and everything. And so I really, really appreciate everything that everybody's done. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Give me a freaking hug. <laughs> Yay! This is the best part, eh? That's how I get paid. Does anyone ever hug you? Uh, yeah, I am. The, the, you're first. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. You know what? Maybe I should just take this right home. Anything. <laughs> you want to take a little breather here or relax in the tub with me? I can't really relax right now. <laughs> One, two, three. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. You're working. <laughs> I want this place done in half an hour.